Going to the cinema. Dialogue 1. Do you like to go to movies? Yes, I like watching movies a lot. What kind of movies do you like? I like comedies. How about you? I can handle comedies, but I prefer action films. That's cool. Do you like Jackie Chan? Yes, I love him actually. He is a real kung fu master. He is. Did you watch the movie Rush Hour 3? I did. Jackie did a great job in that film. But that is also a comedy. Dialogue 2 Did you watch any new movies recently? Yes, I watched The Reader yesterday. Do you know it? Is it one of the domination of Oscars this year? Yes, Kate Winslet is the leading role. She did a flawless job. You like Kate? Yes, she is a good actress. I like her performing in Titanic as well. Right, Titanic is a masterpiece. It's still number one American box off list. That's amazing. I still remember when it was air here. Everyone went to watch it. Ordering drinks. Dialogue 1. Would you like something to drink? May I order a glass of tea? We serve wulong tea, black tea, green tea, jasmine tea, and chrysanthemum tea. Which one do you like better? I glutted myself with rich food. I'm under the weather. Please have a cup of Dragonwell green tea. Maybe you'll be more comfortable. Do you have paper napkin? Yes, I'll bring you some at once. And would you mind if I smoke here? No, there is an ashtray on the shelf. Thank you. Dialogue 2 What would you like for a drink? May I see the drinking list? Would you like to drink tea? I don't feel like drinking tea this morning. Shall I choose some other drinks? Some coffee? Coffee would be fine. How do you drink your coffee, black or white? I take it with cream and sugar. Would you like some ice in it? I prefer it straight up. Reserving a table. Dialogue 1. Good morning. What can I do for you? Good morning. Could you make a reservation for me? Sure. How many people are there? Three. Yes. Where would you prefer to sit? I prefer a table by the window. Which areas do you like, smoking or non-smoking? A non-smoking seat, please. One minute, please. Let me check. Okay. When shall you be here? Around 7 o'clock. Okay. We are looking forward to seeing you. Dialogue 2 May I help you? I'd like to make a reservation. How many people? Only two. Would you like a table in the main restaurant or in a private room, sir? I'd like in the hall. Just a moment. I'll check our reservation list. Please seat us as far as possible from the smoking section. Are there any good seats left? Do you mind taking the seat by the aisle? I don't care. Okay. I've already reserved for you. Ordering Takeaway Dialogue 1 Wang Lei, where are you going to have dinner? I haven't decided yet. I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Would you like to join me? I fancy an Indian takeaway. Is there any Indian restaurant around here? There's an Indian takeaway around the corner. Do you know their telephone number? Yes, I placed an order over the phone yesterday. Let me look it up. Oh, it's here. Thank you. How do you like it? The food is delicious. 
Well, I will phone them up now. Dialogue 2 Hello? Is that Chinese takeaway restaurant? Yes. Would you like to have an order, sir? Uh, do you have fried rice? Yes, they have yang chow fried rice, chicken fried rice, fried rice with scallop now. It's said that the shrimp fried rice is really delicious. Please give me one share. Sorry, there is no shrimp fried rice now. What about chicken fried rice? That will also do. Do you like some soup? No, thanks. I'm on the third floor in room 377 in Empire State Building. Okay, it will be delivered in 20 minutes. Ordering dishes. Dialogue 1. Are you ready to order, sir? Yes. Have you a menu, please? Here you are. What kind of food do you prefer, Chinese or American? A Chinese food, please. What's your favorite? We have Sichuan food, Guangdong food, and Shanghai food. I am unfamiliar with the Chinese cuisines. Could you please explain to us? Guangdong food is a bit light, while Beijing food is heavy and spicy. Sichuan food has a strong and hot taste, and Shanghai food is oily. I'd like to eat something light. Guangdong food, please. Okay, here is the menu. I'll take some specialties of the house. Dialogue 2 That'll be all for now. Let me check your order. The seasoned vegetable in oyster sauce, the mustard greens with scallop, the fried string beans and the shark's fin soup. Not the shark's fin soup, but the mushroom soup. I'm sorry, I mix up the order. Can I have it right away? About ten minutes. I would recommend an appetizer with two or three small dishes. Which the hors d'oeuvre do you serve? It is seasonal vegetables. Give me some green salad. Would you like something else to drink? No, thanks. Serving the dishes. Dialogue 1. Coming. This dish is yours, sir. Where shall I put it? Put it here. The cold dishes are all here. When shall we bring the hot dishes on? Dished up them now, please. Would you go and get me a glass of water? Sure. Do you need anything else? Please give me more rice. Spring roll is our specialty today. Please have a try. Well, two, please. Thank you. I'm always at your service. If you would like any additional dishes, please call me. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, your green beans, sir. Please put it on the table. And your egg drop soup and shrimp fried rice. Uh, wait. Egg drop soup is not on the menu. Just wait a second, please. Let me have a look at your order. The egg drop soup has been taken off the menu just now. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. We'll cross it off the bill. I'd like a glass of orange juice, please. With or without ice, sir? Ice, please. Giving assessment. Dialogue 1. We are taking the last order for food. Will there be anything else? I need more salad, please. Fine. Is everything to your satisfaction? Yes, the roast Beijing duck is very delicious, tender, and crisp. The roast Beijing duck is a Beijing specialty. I'm glad you like it. It's delicious. What about the others? I think maple bean curd and shredded meat in chili sauce are quite special. I'm glad to hear that. If you want any help, just ask me. Okay.
Dialogue 2 I've finished. How do you like the sweet and sour fish? Good, but I like the Chinese noodles best. Noodles with soybean paste is our local special. What's the meaning of noodle in China? Noodle symbolizes longevity in China, and it has the meaning you'll live a very happy life together. Would you like some more? No, thanks. I really have enough. It is a very enjoyable dinner. I'm glad you have a good appetite. Arranging a Banquet Dialogue 1 Good afternoon, Lily Catering Company. May I help you? Good afternoon. This is Mike Lee over at ABC Company. We need to arrange a banquet for next Tuesday. I see, Mr. Lee. How many people are you planning to invite, and how much would you like to spend per person? Well, we're expecting about 55 people, and we'd like to spend no more than $15 a head. When will the dinner start? At 7 in the evening. Is this an ultra-formal party? Yes, please prepare it carefully. Don't worry about it. We'll make it to your entire satisfaction. Thank you in advance. Dialogue 2 We're going to have a wedding party in your hotel. Can you arrange it for us, miss? Sure. We're glad that you choose our hotel to hold a wedding party. Which restaurant would you like? Chinese style, of course. When will you hold the party? On May 1st. How many tables would you like to reserve? 37. How much would you like to spend for each table? 1,000 to 2,000 yuan. And would you play some good pop music at the party? Of course. I wish you a happy wedding. At the cafe. Dialogue 1. Is your coffee shop open now? Yes. Will you have a coffee? I don't care if I do. Which kind of coffee do you like? Do you take black or white coffee? White, please. Okay. You could have a table over there by the window. There's a nice view. Do you mind my smoking? I'm terribly sorry, but smoking is not allowed here. It doesn't matter. Could you please tell me where the smoking room is? That room is put apart for smoking, and you can go there. Dialogue 2 Welcome to the coffee shop. What can I do for you? Two coffees, please. Do you want some sugar and cream? No, black coffee, please. All right. Is there anything I can do for you? Is there any refreshment? There are many snacks for free over there, and they are so delicious. Oh, that's great. Sit anywhere you like, please. Okay. At the breakfast shop. Dialogue 1. Nice morning, isn't it? Can I get a seat anyway? Please come in and sit where you like. Would you like an American breakfast or a continental breakfast? Two American breakfasts with fried eggs, sunny side up, ham, rolls. Certainly, sir. But which kind of drink do you want? An orange juice and a white coffee. Okay, about five minutes. By the way, do you have any newspaper? We have a newspaper rack over there and a number of newspapers and magazines on this desk. All right. Dialogue 2 Good morning. May I help you? What kinds of porridge do you serve? We serve the beef slices porridge, the fresh fish porridge, and the preserved egg porridge, to name only a few. Two bowls of preserved egg porridge. Can I get a seat anyway? 
Sorry, sir. All the tables are taken. Would you mind waiting until one is free? How long do we have to wait? We can seat you in five minutes. Okay. At the fast food shop. Dialogue 1. Good afternoon. May I help you? I'll have a small hamburger, milk, and one large order of french fries. Will that be for here or to go? I'll eat here. With ketchup or mayonnaise? With ketchup, please. How would you like to settle your account? I will pay money down. Please keep the change. Where is the smoking room? It's just around the corner, beside the washroom. Thank you. Dialogue 2 It's our turn. Give me a cheeseburger, large fries, and a loaf of sliced bread. Which would you like for bread? White or whole wheat? Whole wheat, please. Fine. What about you, miss? I want a Big Mac, a small order of french fries, and a medium Coke. Will you be eating here, or is this to go? To go. Will you make out separate bills? I'll pick up the tab. It's my treat. Here is your change. Hope to see you again. Paying the bill. Dialogue 1. Waiter, I'd like to settle my bill, please. Okay, I'll be with you right away. Can I charge it on my Visa card? Oh yes, by all means. Please pay the bill at the cashier's desk. What does this amount to? 517 yuan. May I have the bill, please? Here you are. Do you want one bill or separate bill? It's my treat. One bill, please. All right. Dialogue 2 Could I have the bill, please? Okay. Is everything to your satisfaction? Yes. Do I pay you or the cashier? Both are okay. You may choose. I'd like to go over the bill myself. Here it is. Will this be cash or charge? I'll pay in cash. Is this all on one bill? Yes. Could you check it? Okay. Do you have the receipt? Yes. Have you got some change? No, I don't have small change. Sorry, I can't break that. Keep the change. Planning a trip. Dialogue 1 Hi, Jenny. How do you spend your holiday? I have no plans at present. I intend to go to the seaside on my one-month vacation, though our budget is a little tight this year. Really? It sounds good. I'd better also schedule a definite plan for the journey as soon as possible. Would you like to travel around Europe? Yes, I want to Paris. Maybe you can be in a package tour. That would be great. But I prefer traveling alone and having a lot of time to linger in one place. I hope you'll have an enjoyable trip in Europe. Dialogue 2 Janie, does a trip for adventure interest you? Sure. I possess a hunger for adventure. I have got some information on tours to Antarctica recently. Is that really so? What time will it start? Next Friday. Next Friday? I'm afraid there is no time until next month, as I'm up to the eyes in work these days. Oh, what a pity. Maybe you can ask Jack. He warmed to the idea of a trip to Antarctica. Jack? Yes, the boy we chanced to meet last Sunday in the doorway of the cinema. Applying for a visa. Dialogue 1. 
Morning, sir. Morning. What can I do for you? I'd like to apply for a visa to your country. Would you tell me what type of visa you are applying for? Business visa? No, traveling visa. Have you ever applied for a visa before? No, this is my first time to go abroad. May I see your documents? Sure. Here are my visa application forms, my passport, and papers. Okay, let me see. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, sir? Yes? I have lost the entrance card. It doesn't matter. I'll bring you another one at once. How long will it take for my visa to be acted upon? You have to wait at least two weeks. Okay, I see. Please don't hesitate to call us if you have any questions or difficulties in filling out these forms. Okay, thank you. Booking ticket. Dialogue 1. Morning, may I help you? I'd like to get three seats on a flight to Paris on May 1st. Hold on a second, please. Let me see. Yes, there is. Flight 937 leaves at 1335. What is the fare for an economy class ticket? 1,321 UN. Okay, I will take it. Would you please tell me your name, telephone, and ID number? Sure, I'm Lily. My phone number is 137-1877-3788. And ID number is 11010519470-0. O one two three four five six seven. Well, I've got them. What time do I have to be at the airport? You'll have to get there by thirteen o five at the latest. The check-in is half an hour earlier than departure. Dialogue two. What can I do for you? Can you change the reservation, please? Sure. I'd like to cancel my reservation for the flight on September 16th and book one on September 19th instead, please. Okay, wait a moment, please. Sorry, that's all sold out. What about September 20th? Let me see. Okay, there is only one ticket left, first class and it is 2,700 yuan. Do you have any lower fare? Yes, for September 21st, 1,800 yuan, okay? All right. The balance of the fare is 700 yuan. You have to pay it by yourself. Reserving a room. Dialogue 1. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a reservation. When do you need the room? From May 1st to May 7th. How many people in your party? Three. I would like a double bedroom and a single room. Let me check it. Er, uh, we have several rooms available. How much is the room for a night? 132 UN. Oh, it's a little expensive. Could you give us any discount? We can give 15% discount in the high season. Okay. Would you mind telling me your name? Of course not. My name is Lily. Okay, Miss Lee. Now I check your information. A big single room and a single room from May 1st to May 7th for six days and seven nights. Yes. Dialogue 2 Good evening. Good evening. May I change the reservation I made this morning? Of course. 
I want to change it to a single room for July 2nd. July 2nd, right? Yes. Anything else I can do for you? I need a little bed for my baby. Okay. Going through customs. Dialogue 1. Welcome to France. May I see your passport? Of course. I'm from Beijing. Here is my Chinese passport. Have you ever been to France before? No, this is my first time. What type of visa have you got? Traveling visa. We are traveling for pleasure. May I have your passport, customs declaration forms, and health certification forms, please? Sure. Here you are. So is that all? Yes, you can go through. Have a good time in Paris. Dialogue 2 May I see your passport, please? Here is my passport. What's the purpose of your visit? Sightseeing. How long will you be staying in the United States? One day. In fact, I'm just passing through. I am leaving for Geneva tomorrow evening. Where are you staying? I will stay at Boston Hotel. How much money do you have with you? I have $800. Have a nice day. Thank you. Baggage claim. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, could you tell me where to get my luggage? May I see your baggage number card? Of course, here you are. The luggage will come out over there. Just wait a moment, please. Okay. Please check the flight display board above each carousel. All right. If my luggage got damaged, what should I do? Don't worry. We will compensate you for it. By the way, I need a baggage cart. Is it for free? Yes. Dialogue 2 Madame, what can I do for you? I couldn't find my baggage. How many pieces of baggage have you lost? A suitcase. Can you tell me the features of your baggage? It is a large leather suitcase with my name tag. It's dark blue. You'd better make a lost baggage report. Okay. Please send to me as soon as possible when you find it. We'll try our best to help you find the suitcase. Transferring Dialogue 1 Excuse me, I'm transferring to Paris here. Is this the right counter to check in for the flight? Yes. May I see your boarding card, please? Here you are. When does the connecting flight depart? Your connecting flight is China Airline Flight 957. Take off at 9.30 a.m. Where can I get my luggage back? Your entire checked luggage would be transferred to your connecting flight. Well, good to hear that. Thank you. My pleasure. You can have a short rest in the transit lounge. That's great. Do you need breakfast? We will offer breakfast for you. Please have a rest at number 10 waiting hall. We will inform you on time. No, thank you all the same. Dialogue 2 What's wrong with you, Lily? I'm anxious about my connecting flight. What is the departure time? The plane takes off at 9 o'clock. It is 8.40. You might have missed the flight. It is checking in now. Where can I claim my baggage? They are still on the plane. Don't worry. All connecting flight baggage are transferred automatically at the connecting place. Uh, good. You can ask conductors to put you on the earliest possible connecting flight. Well, I suppose there is no other choice.
Checking in. Dialogue 1. I'd like to check in, please. Have you made a reservation before? Yes. Could you tell the name? The name is Lily. Just a moment, please. I'll check our reservation records. A single room from May 1st to May 7th, right? Yes. I'm afraid we have to ask for a deposit of $200. Okay. How will you settle your account? In cash or by credit card? In cash. Your room number is 278, and here are your key and breakfast vouchers. The bellboy will show you the way. Good. I hope you'll have a happy stay here. Dialogue 2 May I help you, sir? Is there a room available? Yes. Do you have a reservation with us? No, I didn't make a reservation. What kind of room would you like? I'd like the room which is pleasingly large. The downstairs consisted of three large rooms. Would it be convenient to see the room? Of course. This way, please. Okay. Checking out. Dialogue 1. Good morning, Miss Lee. Can I help you? I'd like to check out. My room number is 278, and here is my room key. Wait a moment, please. Could you tell me what the total bill is? It is $617, including tax. $617? Yes, here's your bill. You can check it. Excuse me, what's this charge? That is wine and other potables charge. Okay, can I charge it on my Visa card? Oh, yes, of course. Sign your name at the bottom, please. Okay, I'd like a receipt, please. Sure. Would you call a taxi for me to the airport, please? No problem. You're welcome to stay with us next time. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, sir. May I pay my bill now? I am Jack in room 177. Sure. Was everything satisfactory? Very nice. Wait a minute, please. The total is 200 yuan. Okay, can I pay in U.S. dollars? I'm sorry, sir. We only accept RMB or a credit card. Here is my credit card. Do you have the receipt? Yes, the computer is running. Please sign your name at the bottom of the invoice. Okay. Here are your bill and invoice. Taking pictures. Dialogue 1. Hey, what a beautiful castle. Yes, so it is. Could I take pictures here? No permission to take a picture here. Really? Oh, what a pity. There's a nice view over there. We can go there. Okay, will you please pose for your picture? I don't like to be photographed. I'm a bit camera shy. Just try to stay relaxed and keep still while I take your photo. Let me try. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, could you take a picture for me? With pleasure. Oh, the view is great. Please adopt an elegant pose. Is that all right? Please turn your head a little to the right. I'd like to put my glasses on. You'd better not. Keep still, please. Shit, the photo did not come out at all. Let me see. I forgot to load my camera. Once again. Okay. The photograph is really well taken. Yes, thank you very much. Checking in before boarding a plane. Dialogue 1. 
Could you tell me where to go through check-in formality? Here, please. May I see your identification card? Okay. What kind of seat do you want? Is the first row aisle seat still available? I'm afraid all the aisle seats have been taken. What about the window seats? I'm sorry, the window seats are not available. Do you have baggage to check in? No. Dialogue 2 Good morning, madam. What can I do for you? Would you please help me to get my boarding pass? Sure. May I see your passport, please? Here you are. One economy class seat, is that right? Yes, I'd like to sit in the front of the plane. Just wait a second. I'm sorry, the economy seats are not available. We may locate you in the first class seat. The balance of the fare is 1,100 yuan. You have to pay it by yourself. Okay, what is the gate number? At gate 10, go through the security check and turn left. Take the moving staircase at the end of the hall, then you will find it. Checking luggage. Dialogue 1. Would you please place your bag on the conveyor belt? Okay, is that all right? Fine. Is there any valuables and fragile items? No, there is plenty of room in my bag. Your bags are 10 kilos overweight. I am afraid you have to pay for the overweight. How much do I have to pay for you? The charge for excess baggage is calculated by 1.5% of the standard ticket fare for economy class. So, you have to pay 300 yuan. Here you are. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, may I carry this overnight bag by myself? I'm afraid not. Any baggage with its bulk exceeding 20 by 40 by 50 centimeters, or its weight exceeding 5 kilograms, can't be taken as carry-on items, need to be checked in. What's the charge for delivery? The free allowance for luggage is 20 kilograms, and yours is only 17 kilograms, so there will be no charge for this. Oh, good. Do you need to buy insurance for your baggage? No, thanks. I won't need any insurance. Is there any fragile article in your bag? There is a rich trove of porcelain plates in my case. They are fragile. If you insist to check in, please sign your name here. Okay. Changing seats. Dialogue 1 Excuse me, sir. Yes? Is this somebody's seat? Yes, this seat is already taken. Oh, can we switch over? I'd like to sit next to my friends. Okay. Thank you. Is this your portable computer? Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Not at all. Oh, miss, look. There are vacant seats together over there. Really? Oh yes, those seats aren't bad. Sorry to have bothered you. Dialogue 2 Oh, excuse me, where's the washroom? It is located fore and aft. Thank you. Watch your step, please. By the way... Is there anything else I can do for you? Can you help me change my seat, please? Which seat do you like, aisle or window side? I wonder if I could change my seat to the front. I'd like to be a little closer to my wife. Would you wait a moment, please? I'll check for you. Okay, that's very kind of you. Don't mention it. Service on the plane. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, madam. 
What would you like to drink? We have both hot and cold drinks. Coffee, please. Mary, what about you? I'll have a glass of pineapple juice. Would you like some coffee, mate, in your coffee? Yes, I prefer it with ice, please. Okay, I'll bring them straight away. Do you have any Chinese magazines? Yes, they are on the shelf. I'll fetch you some. By the way, when will meals be served on board? We will be serving dinner shortly. Okay, thank you. Dialogue 2 Excuse me. Since you've finished with your meal, may I clear off the table? Thank you. The orange juice is really delicious. I'm glad you like it. Would you like to have more? A large Coke, please. How would you like it, straight or on the rocks? I prefer it straight up. Is there any hot drink served on board? I'm so sorry. There is no hot meal served on this flight. The Coke is too cold that my baby cannot drink at all. We also have baby food on board. Really? That'd be very nice. Here's the menu. You may look at the menu first and decide what you would like to have. Thank you. Traveling by train. Dialogue 1. The conductors are coming. Yes, it's time to check in, so please have your tickets ready for the conductor. Okay. Could you tell me which car is number seven, please? Please go straight down the stairs and turn left at the bottom. This luggage is too heavy for you to lift. Let me help you. Thank you very much. You'd better put your luggage on the rack first when you get on. Do you know when the dining car opens for dinner? Not too sure. Maybe it opens half an hour later. There's a boiler between each carriage, and you can fetch some water. Okay, here it is. That's very kind of you. My pleasure. Have a nice journey. Dialogue 2 Oh my god, the train's 30 minutes behind schedule. It often happens for slow trains. I heard that it was sidetracked because of a freight train that had been derailed up ahead of it. Well, what should I do? I am in a hurry. You may get on the 1328 train. But I don't have an express ticket. Just buy an express ticket on the train. That would be lovely. You'd better have your luggage checked. Where is the baggage office? Beside the ticket office. In the supermarket. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, where is the fruit and vegetable section? Go all the way to the back and turn right. Thank you. I'd like some bananas. Okay, anything else? Give me a pound of tomatoes and a pound of eggplants. Here you are. Thanks. Where is the cashier? Go straight and turn left. Thanks. Will they take credit card? I think so. Dialogue 2 We have to buy a lot of things today. Yes, how about we divide the list and meet here in 20 minutes? That's a good idea. You get the milk, beef, eggs, apples, and honey. I can get the tomatoes, peas, coffee, lettuce, and bananas. Okay, but where is milk? It's over there in the dairy section. Good. You got everything? I think so. Let's go to the cashier in the front. Sure. In the flea market. Dialogue 1. Does this TV work well? Yes, it's almost new. Is it a color TV or a black and white one? Color. You know people prefer the LED now. 
so they have no room for this kind. What do you charge for it? 500 yuan. Can I have it for 400? 450, the last offer. Okay, deal. Dialogue 2 Can I help you, sir? Yes, but may I have a look first? You have so many antiques and Chinese paintings here. Are they genuine? All our reproductions are clearly marked and priced. They are sold at a fair price. May I see that ivory horse? Sure. It's genuine, I bet. It's made of genuine ivory. Besides, it's of exquisite workmanship. How much is it? The price is marked 200 yuan. I'll take it. In the jewelry store. Dialogue 1. Can I help you, madam? Yes, I'd like to buy some presents for my friends. Would you like jewelry? Today is Mother's Day and all the jewelry is on sale at Riches. That's great. Do you have gold jewels? Yes, we have 14K and 18K gold necklaces, chain, and earrings. May I have a look? Sure. Here is nice gold necklace. Its regular price is $56, and now you can have it with a 20% discount. It's very elegant. I'll take it. All right. Is there anything else you want? Will you show me that key ring? Yes, here you are. It's very nice. Give me ten like this. I'm sure they will be good gifts for my friends in China. Dialogue 2 I want to buy some jewelry. What kind of jewelry do you like to have? I should like to look at some bracelets. May I show you gold ones or platinum ones? Gold ones. Pure gold or carrots? Pure gold ones, please. Certainly, ma'am. What's the price for this one? $550. How about $500? I'm sorry, we only sell at fixed prices. Okay, I'll take it. I want to have my initials engraved on it. Oh, that can be done. In the makeup store. Dialogue 1. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, I haven't decided which lip gloss to buy. Which color do you like? I prefer pink. How about this one? It's very moistening. But I think the pinker one would fit me better. How much is it? It's 180 yuan. Wow, that's really expensive. If you buy it this month, you can get a free handbag. Okay, I'll take it. Dialogue 2 May I help you? Do you have any foundation for summer? Yes, we have Makeup Forever Foundation. Fresh Beauty Cake, which one do you like? What about the Dior's Foundation? The Makeup Forever Foundation is on sale this summer, and it is suitable to Asian. I recommend this one. How much is it? 380 yuan. Can you find me a match color? Yes, this one will look good on you. You can try it on. You are right. I'll take it. In the clothes store. Dialogue 1. What about these shirts? Do you see anything you like? The styles here are too boring for me. I told you, I like street shopping. Oh, come on. Don't be so sour. These are beautiful shirts. I know if we don't buy some today, you will never go shopping by yourself. Sure, I would. Here, look at this shirt. Try it on. Do they have it in large? I don't know. Let me look on the rack. Here is one large. Try it on. Where is the fitting room? I don't see it. 
The fitting rooms are over there. Okay, I will try it on. It looks good on you. Dialogue 2 Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Good morning. I'm looking for a new jacket. Our jackets are over here next to coats and accessories. I like this jacket. Can I try it on? Of course. The changing rooms are over there. Thanks. Does it fit? Can you find me a larger one? Sure. I'll be right back. Thanks. In the Shoes and Caps Store Dialogue 1 This is the cloth shoes department, isn't it? That's right. Would you like to look at some of these shoes? Yes, I want to buy a pair of black cloth shoes made in Beijing. Right. How about this pair? Look good. What size do you need? 36. Please try it on. Thank you. They are very comfortable. I'll take this pair. Dialogue 2 Look at those sandals. They are pretty. We need to buy one pair for our son. Look good. What color do you prefer? I'll choose blue. It's a good color for boys. Besides, a dark color will not show the dirt. That makes sense. What do you think of that pair for me? Which pair? The white one over there. You go and try them on. It should be good on you. You think so? Okay, I'll try. Go ahead. In the Arty Craft Store Dialogue 1 are you being served, sir? I'd like to buy a medium-sized cloison vase with a light blue background. I'm sorry, sir. They are sold out. We only have some big ones now, but we are expecting to have some tomorrow. Oh, I'm leaving China tomorrow. I don't think I have much time. Let me see. How much is the big one? 180 yuan. That sounds reasonable. Will you show me some? Yes, sir. How would you like this one? The background is pale blue with traditional Chinese paintings of flowers and birds. It's attractive. I'll take a pair. Can you pack the vases and send them to New York by mail for me? Yes, sir. Please write your name and address on this slip. Okay. How much should I pay then? 400 yuan altogether including the postage and the charge for the packing. You know, we'll have to make a special box. Dialogue 2 Shall we buy some fans? Yes. Are these all sandalwood fans? Not all of them. Some are made of Chinese little leaf boxwood with scent sprayed on. Those made of real sandalwood are much more expensive. May I take a smell of them and compare which one I like better? Yes, please. Here you are. This one smells better. I'll take this and buy a feather fan. Please show me some. Yes, this is made of wild goose feather and this is made of skylark feather. I'll take both of them. Color preference. Dialogue 1 Welcome to our shop. What do you need? A dress. Oh, we have plenty of dresses here. You can choose which one you like best. Do you have this dress but not in black? Which color do you want? A green one in middle size would be fine. Wait a minute. Oh, you're so lucky. We only have one green dress left. Wow, that's cool. How much? 480 yuan, and you can have it 10% off. Okay, I'll take it. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon. Can I help you? 
Hello, I want to buy a pair of shoes. Which color do you want? Do you have pink shoes? Sorry, the pink shoes have been sold out. What about this white one? Uh, I prefer the blue one on that shelf. Can I have a look? Of course. Wait for a moment. You mean this one? Right. Do you have size eight? Yes. How much is it? Five hundred dollars. Okay, I'll buy it. Sizes and inches. Dialogue one. Are you being served? No. Could you show me the dress that's displayed on mannequin? Sure. Please come this way. This design comes in four colors and all sizes. May I try it on? Of course. Here is the fitting room. It doesn't fit quite right. It feels a little tight in the waist. Do you have this in a larger size? Yes. Here it is. Well, how do I look in this one? You look really beautiful in it, and that looks as though it were made for you. Okay, I'll take it. Dialogue two. I'd like sports pants, but I'm not quite sure about the size. Can I take your waist measurement? Of course. I think my size is approximate thirty-eight. Can you check it? Yes, thirty-eight will be good for you. Could you give me a pair of this pattern? Sure. Wait for a moment. Would you like to try it on? Yes. What do you think? It fits you great. I think so. I'll take it. Bargaining. Dialogue one. Oh, you are lucky, sir. That model is on sale today. It's only three thousand three hundred dollars. Three thousand three hundred dollars? That is more than the other store is charging. Can you offer me a lower price? How much is the other store selling it for? Do you have proof? We always sell for the lowest price. Sure, I have an advertisement right here. See, they only charge three thousand two hundred dollars. Okay, that is a good price. I cannot sell for less than three thousand two hundred fifty dollars, but I can offer you free home delivery. The delivery is valued at one hundred dollars, so buying from me would be cheaper overall. Dialogue two. Hello, Miss. How are you this morning? I am great. I am hoping to buy a new sports car today. I am so excited. I can understand. Buying a new car is a very exciting event. What brand of car are you looking for? Well, I have always bought Mercedes in the past, but I heard good things about BMW's new Z4 Roadster. Oh, that is an extremely popular selling car. As soon as we get our shipment in, they sell out. You may be in luck. We expect to receive a shipment tomorrow. Paying ways. Dialogue one. How much do I owe you? Three thousand yuan altogether. It's a big money. Do you take checks? Sorry, we only accept cash and credit card. How about Mastercard? Yes, we do accept that. Can I pay one thousand yuan by cash, and for the rest of them, I use my card? Okay, no problem. Dialogue two. Here is the money. Have you got anything smaller? Sorry, I have no change about me. Here is your change. Please count it. Okay, I'll do that. Sorry, you've shortchanged me. You still have to give me a ten. I'm sorry, I've miscounted. That's all right. Blockbuster. 
Dialogue One. Hi, Nancy. Where's New? I got two tickets just now. Let's catch a flick. Sounds nice. Is there anything worthwhile? Madagascar Two: Escape Africa. That must be a blockbuster. I don't even know if I'm black with white stripes or white with black stripes. See, that zebra is really funny in the Madagascar one. Come on, I can't wait. Dialogue two. Hi, Rose. Have you watched Eight Below? Of course, a movie lover as me. How do you find the movie? You know I love it so much, especially those cuddly dogs. So have you planned to buy a sled dog? Oh, that should be great, but I have had a Chihuahua. Breeding two dogs together is not a big deal. Come on, I'm already pissed off by the little. He pees everywhere and barks all day long. I have been getting interested in raising a sled dog. Music fan. Dialogue one. Mike, have you heard new hit single of Black Eyed Peas? Not yet. Did they release a new album? Oops. What's wrong? Hey, come on. I just focus on something else recently. Okay, sorry, but my humps hits the chart of Billboard Top Ten this week. Is that spending all your money on me and on me? You bet. Sounds cool. Have you heard that they may give gigs somewhere? No. Dialogue two. What kind of music do you like, Lee? It's hard to say, but I prefer folk music. What about hip hop? Oh, it's so difficult for me to understand the rap. Sometimes I can't either. They always create new slang. I think the lyrics have so many violence and sex affairs in it. Yep, you are right. Why don't they sing something beautiful like love and friendship? Who knows? Maybe they want to indicate the changing society. Sorta. Aha! You got it. Showbiz. Dialogue one. Hey, have you heard that Angelina Juliet is pregnant? She just gave birth to a twin. The star says it might be the twin again. Again? Oh my! She is on the ball in pregnancy. Let's see: Mad, Pax, Z, Shiloh, Vivian, Knox, and the two newcomers, plus the couple. They could be a soccer team. She must be on top of the world because she once said she loves to take challenge. But don't you think it's weird to have so many kids? That might be the reason they keep to be point men. Do you mean it is the way to hype? Who knows? Dialogue two. Hey, Bill, what's that? The latest tape of Paris Hilton, Naked in Bath. Once again, I don't like her. But how could we hate her? An American media's princess? She's just a babe. A babe? Do you call an American socialite, heiress, television personality, businesswoman, actress, author, singer, and model a babe? She's frank, nice, but doesn't know how to hide, how to protect herself. Do you mean she is still wet behind the ears, even she owns so many titles? Kinda. Is naked tape radio the only way she uses to catch paparazzi's camera? I don't know, 
but I know she is a fat cat and she can do anything she wants. Football match. Dialogue 1. May I join in you? Come on, Barcelona is playing Numancia. Barcelona is in excellent trim. Oh, I missed the first half. Was there any goal? No, only two yellow cards of each team. What about Lionel Messi? Just at 50th, Alves makes a header to the goal area and Messi scored on a push. He is really a big gun. He is always a threat to the Numancy defense with his darting runs and pace. Numancia knew what they were doing on the pitch, but Barcelona is lucky to have good players. Dialogue 2 Here comes Davis and a goal. It's a dream start for Newcastle. What a way to answer his critics. Don't speak so soon. Look, Luis has got a chance to shoot here. Oh, it's in! It is level 1-1. One, one. And now number 11, Robert. A free header. They've conceded two goals in quick succession without reply. That's a devastating blow for Newcastle. Now, can they come back from it? NBA Tournament Dialogue 1 I like watching NBA. Same here. NBA is the highest level professional basketball league. Right. Although it has been founded about only 60 years, it has become one of the best commercial operated sports. Now NBA has 30 teams, about 1,000 players. So cool. NBA is the kingdom of money. If you have fantastic skills, can bring the victory to your team and bring the happiness to your fans. Then you will be a super money bag. But I think the most important thing, also the most enjoyable thing, is watching the NBA games. Dialogue 2 Did you see the game last morning? Of course. There was nobody that wants to miss this significant battle. It was very important for the Rockets to enter the playoff. Yeah, and the Lakers did not want to lose their leading position, so they played a very intense game for basketball fans. Frankly speaking, I thought the Lakers didn't make every effort to play this game. Why do you have this idea? The Lakers' superstar... Kobe did not attend this match. But others of the Lakers played a great match, did not they? That is right, so I was basically satisfied with the game. Shopping Mall Promotion Dialogue 1 Hi Nancy, where are you going? The shopping mall over the cross. What are you going to buy? All the brands are in sales promotion, even 80% off the price. Really? Can I go with you? I haven't dreamt a fur coat for a long time. It's the very time to buy. You don't need to tighten the belt. Right, it costs an arm and a leg in a non-promotion season. But don't hold your breath. It's not the first day of the promotion. It doesn't matter. Just have a look. Dialogue 2 Look at the catalog, John. I think I want to get this red blouse. This is on sale now. Don't you have one like this in blue? Yeah, but I don't have a red one. Do you need every color in the rainbow? Yes, I won't miss that. This is this woman. How do you prepare to pay for that? I will use my credit card for that. 
But credit cards still have to be paid off. You are just like my old grandma. Once I get a job, I'll pay them off immediately. Fashion trend. Dialogue one. Are you doing needlework? Uh huh. I just want to make something for my baby. It's called cross stitch. It's really a knockout. Is that difficult? It's quite easy. Firstly, you can buy a pack of material and make the needle in X shape. Make sure the stitch covers the thread of four directions. It sounds complicated. It's not my style, sweetie. Some day you will marry someone. You need to learn this. Plenty of fish in the sea. Why not I find someone who knows how to do this? Dialogue two. Mike said you just came back from India. Yes, I went there to learn the professional yoga. You know, India is the cradle of yoga. Sounds great. Is it really good for body? Of course, yoga is a traditional physical and mental discipline. Each pose is a benefit to the relevant part of your body, like bridge pose, cat pose. Why not run a club in this community and teach us? I still need to kick around with family. Don't worry, I can sell your parents on this idea. Traveling. Dialogue one. How about your last trip in Yunnan? Jane and I are planning to go there. It was really a wonderful trip. The snow mountains, old towns, and warmly minorities all reminded me of the old times. What do I need to pay attention to? That's the point. Try to knock off a half when you want to buy something. The sellers always like to push those tourists around. Something else? Take some medicine with you, especially on car sickness. Oh, I nearly forgot it. Will little Jack go along with you? No, he will be here with his grandma. That's a short trip, and I don't want to have a third wheel. Dialogue two. What do you plan to do in your vacation? I plan to go abroad. Where do you plan to go? London. Well, that's interesting. You'll visit the Big Ben, will you? Of course. Maybe I can go when I have enough money. It's not expensive. How much? One thousand dollars. It is still a big sum for me. X Games. Dialogue one. Dad, could you tell me something about X Games? Honey, why do you want to know that? I'm preparing for my homework. Let's get the ball rolling. There are two big competitions. Winter X Games and Summer X Games, both held in United States. How many games do they have? Now, the current games include seven categories, like freestyle BMX, motocross, skateboarding, rallying, skiing, snowboarding, and snowmobiling. What about bungee jumping? It can be a game, but not for professional competition. Oh, okay, that's enough. Here are some references for you. Keep your behavior. Dialogue two. Before we climb, make sure you have all necessaries on you. Bob, tell me what they are. Rope, helmet, climbing shoes, harness, and belay devices. Well done. 
You have practiced several times on our indoor climbing wall. But this time, the aim is totally different. It's real rock. You mean that we have no bolts to rely on, right? Not exactly. As this is your first time climbing on rock, we have already pre-placed several bolts. What about the handholds? That depends on your own experience. But make sure if the handholds are loose or not. Will you lead the route? No, I'll hit you with the problem. In Gymnasium Dialogue 1 Good morning, madam. What can I do for you? I want to join in your club. Welcome. What kind of cards do you want to buy? We offer three kinds. One year, half a year, and one month. What about the cost? Fifteen hundred, eight hundred, and two hundred for each. What games can I practice? All kinds of games in our club, like belly dance, yoga, ballet, swimming, and so on. Sounds nice. Let's jump on it. I'm sorry, madam. We still need your ID card copy. Oh my god, I lost it. Dialogue 2 Before we practice, who can tell me the origin of belly dance? Is that from Middle East? Correct. It's a term for a traditional Arab dance form. In Arabic language, it refers to a dance of country. How do we master belly rolls? That's the core of the dance. Before we learn that, let's do some warming up. Stand still. Put your hands anywhere comfortable. Anywhere comfortable? Don't butt in, please. Suck in your gut and try to push your belly button back to touch the spine. Hold it. Hold it as long as you can. How do we adjust breath? Okay, relax and breathe. That can help us to keep our stomach flat. Repeat this movement several times a day. It comes easily. Secret of Beauty Dialogue 1 Ling, I heard that some of Chinese cuisine are very useful to keep women pretty. Of course! The Chinese cuisine can be traced back to some 400,000 years ago. Could you tell me some dishes that I could try at home? Which effect do you want to try? Effect? Whitening, slimming, zit problem, or cup upping. I see. Whitening. Why not use papaya and milk? Peel a papaya, rinse, and cut into chunks. Boil the water, put the papaya chunks into water, stew for 10 minutes, and put a pack of milk. After 2 minutes, remove and wait until cool. Sprinkle the two teaspoons of honey and serve. No wonder you are always in pink. Dialogue 2 What should I do, Lucy? What's wrong? I just saw some flecks on my face. How to get rid of them? Oh, my mom once told me to eat tomatoes because it contains much vitamin C. Does it work? A little. I usually use juicer to squeeze tomatoes and add some honey. God, how long should I drink? I have a date with Jack tomorrow. Dear, hold your horses. Right, beauty comes in lover's eyes. That's it. Don't have a cow. Shopping online. Dialogue 1 Valentine's Day again, Mike. Yes. Have you booked the rose? Not yet. 
50 bucks for just one rose. That's really a ripoff. But you still need to. Come on, I'll give you a good gimmick. I bought it online yesterday and asked them to deliver today. Does it save bucks? You bet, more than a half, because it was still a common stuff yesterday. You are so shrewd. Just click the mouse, and you can also kill two birds with one stone. Dialogue 2 I saw a beautiful necklace on eBay. Give me the link. It's something like the new stuff of Swarovski. Oh, my good. 300 yuan? What a bargain. It's a purchasing agent of Austria. What's their share? They take 15% of purchasing charges. That's a good traffic. So, how many do you want to buy? Oh, I'd like to, but I'm a little bit strapped for cash. E-Business Dialogue 1 where are you going, Zoe? I'm going to book plane tickets nearby. Hey, it's after hours. Oh, I forgot it. You are so corny. It's all e-business now. Why don't you book online? Online? I'll show you. Register your information on this web. Choose the airline and the date you want to depart. Choose the way of payment and check your information, and done. That's cool. Almost everything can be done online. I'm no spring chicken and cannot catch up with you young guys. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, boss. We got a sticky problem now. Go on. There is with the product we booked last week on eBay. Something wrong? Nearly 50% are fake commodities. Here we go again. I told you not to buy a pig in a poke many times. So, how can I do now? Call Mr. Brown to postpone the delivery date and give me a report of the detail. Ask James to see me. Such a stupid purchasing manager. Relax, boss. Digital Products Dialogue 1 Darling, it's for you. Oh, you are so sweet, but what's this? It's called MP4 Player, a portable USB TV dongle. A TV? I know you have a passion for an iPod, but this one is better. That's cute from the appearance. It's the new item that AIGO launched a month ago. You can use it to watch TV, listen to the radio on mobile devices. Also, plug the dongle into computer to download films and novels. That sounds great. How many channels can it receive? Till now, it can only be used in some big cities covering with HD TV signals. Maybe nearly 10 channels. But do we need to pay for the signal? That's free, but I'm not sure if it's still free years later. Dialogue 2 Morning, Grandma. Mary and I decide to go outing and take some pictures. Wait for a moment. Where are you going? To fetch the camera for you. Come on, we don't need that. My cell phone has the same function. Cell phone? You were kidding. This camera is your grandpa's favorite. It's Pentax. Oh, Grandma, it's totally outdated. Look, I can use my cell phone, surfing, sending emails, downloading cool songs, and taking photos. Really? How can you get these pictures out so I can hang them on the wall? 
Use Bluetooth. Bluetooth? How about my false tooth? Cell phone. Dialogue 1. I'm sensing you are a bit apprehensive. I lost my cell phone on the bus this morning. How careless you are. You know, glass houses, stones. Why not buy a new one? That one is outdated. To buy a new one is not a big deal. But what about the hundreds of telephone numbers? Why didn't you write them down on a notebook before? You know people get their phone loss every day. It doesn't mean they don't contact with friends. Give me your laptop. What are you doing? Just try to leave message to my clients through MSN. Dialogue 2 Julia, I'm really well away today. What happens? The short message I got this morning said that I won the lottery. Let me have a look. Our company are doing lottery, and your cell phone number is in the list. Congratulations for the first award, a laptop at the price of 15,000 RMB. See, I told you I'm a lucky dog. Come on, Anne, you don't believe that, do you? I do, but after I called them and asked how I could get my computer, they asked me to deposit 500 yuan to a certain account as the tax. That's preposterous. Most of them just be up to something. Really? Dink Family Dialogue 1 Darling, we need to talk. Okay, sweetie. What's wrong? We just got married, and I really want a life, just you and me. The current life is just the one you want, honey. I mean, I don't want someone be in our way. Hey, I'm not that kind of guy. We vowed in the wedding ceremony to be faithful. No, no, I have to rip the band-aid off. Someone is... is... the baby. Oh, the baby? You don't like baby? I thought you like. Our work is too busy and stressful. And we can't find any more time and energy to raise a kid. That's right. So it's your turn to talk with your parents. Dialogue 2 Hey Mike, where are you going to be? I'm gonna camping with my wife. You look so detached. Aha, uh -huh. we don't need to take care of baby. That will save us much time. You don't like kids, do you? Not exactly, but we prefer to a freer and easier life. Going outing, hiking, watching films as we like. But what about your parents? They become older and older and must be eager to see their grandson. Life is ours and should be decided by us. Oh, it really sucks. Children's Education Dialogue 1 Lee, have you started prenatal education? Not yet. I just finished the sonogram, and the doctor said that it could hear my voice and other sounds now. Now you can listen to some soft music, like Chopin, Beethoven. But I really prefer to the kind like hip-hop. That will make your baby restless and fretful. And talk with him or tell him some fairy tales when you feel he flops around. You've got me. Can I just read books? That's okay. But the direct communication is better. I'm not in that mood. I got a lot of articles to translate. Oh, do you think he will be easy to learn English? For I always do translation. Maybe.
Dialogue 2 You look so tired. Yes, so exhausted with my kid. Did you bring her back from your parents' home? I can't let her be away from me for so long time, and she needs to go to school. To be a single mom is really tough. You two must be drifted apart. Definitely. You know, grandparents always dote on their grandsons and make them outrageous, calling someone names and shouting in front of the guests. How come? By the way, where is she? She is grounded. Come on, she is just a little girl. Generation Gap Dialogue 1 It's cool, isn't it, Mom? But I don't think the color matches you. What about the pink one? I'm not a little girl. You always want me to dress in pink or something. But girls are girls, not to mention it's cute. It's not cute, it's childish, and I want something hot. What do you mean by hot? Sexy? You are just 14, honey. Julia got a cool t-shirt yesterday, and I have to knock her socks off. Julia always goes behind her mother's back. Why can't she? Dialogue 2 Why do you come home so late? I went to Times Square to get Eminem's signature. Who's Eminem? A rapper. His music is really cool. A rapper? Do you think rap belongs to music? Absolutely. It's one of the four elements of hip-hop. The real music is something makes you comfortable, eased, and relaxed. Rap is just like someone murmuring. Mom, you are slipping. It's not the year with Beatles, Eagles, singing California Dream or something. It's 21st century. But they are what people old like me to keep life interesting. Life in Later Years Dialogue 1 How do old people in China support themselves when they become old? We can rely on our children and also endowment insurances. But what if one doesn't rear children or have no social insurances? Try to save as much money as they can when they are still young. We seldom rely on our children. They have their own life. Most of the old choose bead house for their rest life. That's forlorn. In China, to have a boy is a big issue for every family. Boy is considered as family pillar and takes responsibility to support their parents. What about if one has no boy but girl? Some people keep on giving birth until they have a boy. Sometimes it costs a big fine. I cannot understand that, but both girls and boys can be successful people. Dialogue 2 Mom, come on, let's go home. I don't want to go back home. I like to stay in this bead house. People in our community are talking about us as a gossip. Just whatever will be, will be. Why don't you think of me? I'm your son. I have responsibility to take care of you. I like here, and I got many friends sharing same interests and hobbies. We play cards, sing old songs, and recall the nostalgic times. Anyway, you need to go with me. You can't order me around like I'm a child. You have back-breaking work from sunup to sundown, and it's time for you to enjoy a happy life. Mixed Marriages Dialogue 1 Look at the twins like Barbie. Are they mixed blood? Yes, my husband is French. No wonder. 
Is it easier to have twins if one has a foreign husband or wife? I don't know. I'm the lucky one. Tell your husband if any of his friends is available, we can have a date. Any of his friends? I mean single and also French. Okay, a blind date. All I dream is to have a mixed blood baby like yours. Dialogue 2 Mike, are you ready? Not yet. I feel nervous, May. Have you remembered what I told you last night? Sort of. Your occupation, your age, income, if you decide to settle down, if you like to have kids, etc. That's too private. We don't like to talk personal income and age. Do you want to marry me? Yes, I do, but... Come on, Mike. This is China, not your America. Okay, let me rehearse. I'm a sales manager, 31 years old. After I get married, May is in charge of family income, and we will live in Beijing and try to afford an apartment, and we will have kids soon. Oh, Mike, you look so sharp today. Cuddly Pets Dialogue 1 Have you heard the America's Cutest Pet Competition? Tell me. The winners can receive a 14-carat gold pendant. Oh, that's great. How can I take part in? Digital photos of pets can be uploaded to the site and then voted upon in order to determine America's cutest pet. It's just for my Jack. He adores eating and chewing slippers. So that's why I come to tell you immediately. Jack deserves to win. When will the competition run? This weekend. So hurry up to get registered. Thanks so much. Jack, come on, let's move. Dialogue 2 What about your bulldog Winston? She has given birth to six puppies. Really? Winston's really a great mother. Such a purebred in a small town. How do you find the very breeder? I published a note on Yahoo and someone with the conditions can contact me. I heard that the male bulldog has such short legs and needs help when mating. Is the question five cans short of a six-pack? Great question. Not stupid. They must be taken to the vet for artificial insemination because of their weak rears. What a poor dog. Price Rising Dialogue 1 Mike, where is your car? In my garage. He is in holiday. Is there anything wrong? Do I need to introduce a good repair plant? Not something wrong, but the oil price. The era of cheap oil is over. The International Energy Agency warned yesterday as it predicted, crude values would soon rebound to above $100 a barrel. My God, above $100 a barrel? How can we afford a car? I'm going to buy a bicycle. The prediction doesn't even have a PL. Maybe things will look up soon. Dialogue 2 where are you going, Mrs. Lee? To supermarket. Wait for a second. I get my purse. Have you ever heard that the price of cooking oil will be increased? It was just increased a month ago. Let's fight to get our hands on some cheap cooking oil, or it will be sold out later. The government always says the new policies would be carried out soon, but the price is still hanging on there. Who cares? Even the price of vegetables and pork is soaring, not to mention the cooking oil. Is there any way we can voice our opinion to someone who is in charge of this? 
Just fly low and avoid radar. Food security. Dialogue 1. Hi, Kate. How are you doing? So so. I just took Tom to see the doctor. What's wrong with him? Haven't you heard about the baby formula issue? Oh, that's terrible. A lot of babies have developed kidney stones because of the formula. I was so worried about Tom. But anyway, he is okay. I read newspaper this morning. Melamine was deliberately added to infant formula to make it appear to have a higher protein content. Such a Sunday saint. The manufacturers show their good image, like to provide the best to all the babies, while doing sordid business we don't know. God damn it! I hope I could raise a cow. Dialogue 2 Come on, let's go home. I'll make you some tofu. I don't want tofu. Why not? That will give you the much nutrition. I want hamburgers and hot dogs to be strong. Sorry, honey, you'd better not. Why not? I'm starved to die. The newspaper said they found Sudan red dye in fried chickens. It's harm to people. What is Sudan red dye? Like my Barbie's red hair? Kind of dye material for industry. It cannot be used in food. Fast Food Dialogue 1 Mrs. Carlos, can I have a second talking with you? Come and sit here, sweetie. I'm going to write a book review about the dark side of the all-American meal. Would you like to tell me something about your point of view? That's an interesting topic. The book is written by investigative journalist Eric Schlosser. It examines the local and global influence of the United States fast food industry. It is said that since the 1970s, there has been a steady decline in fast food industry. Exactly. A generation ago, three quarters of the money is used to buy food in the U.S. was spent to prepare meals at home. That's the main point. While today, about half of that same money is spent in restaurants, mainly fast food restaurants. That's why about 2,000 new McDonald's are opening each year. Mom says the food there contains excessive calories and is no good for people, especially for our kids. That's right. But the sit-in ratio is still higher because it's quick service. Dialogue 2 The Western fast food industry moves rapidly in China. But in my opinion, fast food is more suitable to the Western lifestyle. That's a common misunderstanding. Don't you eat hamburgers or chips every day? I do, but not every day. In fact, according to the survey, nine of the world's top ten markets for fast food are in the Asia-Pacific region. The world's three top fast food brands, McDonald's, KFC, and Pizza Hut, are all from America. But two out of three Americans avoid these kinds of places. The burgers, pizza, and fried chicken cannot represent the real American menu. Cooking Food Dialogue 1 Hi, Haruko. I have something to ask you. I'd like to help. This weekend is our fifth wedding anniversary. My wife wants to try Japanese sushi. Could you introduce some Japanese cuisine for me? Aha! You find the right person. There are various types of sushi. Sushi served rolled inside, 
dried and pressed layered sheets of seaweed or algae called mikazushi or rolls. Sushi made with toppings laid with hand-formed clumps of rice called nigiri sushi. Toppings stuffed into a small pouch of fried tofu called inari sushi. And toppings served scattered over a bowl of sushi rice called chirashi sushi. I am confused. It doesn't matter. After you get to the entrance of the restaurant, you should pass through a short curtain. Peel open from the left. Before you sit at the front of the counter, you should ask the customer aside if the seat is available. Anything more? That's just the beginning. Japan is the country with courtesy and traditions. Give me a break. We'd better change a local restaurant. Dialogue 2 I know the most famous dish here is Peking duck. I'd like to try. Absolutely. It is considered one of the Chinese traditional dishes. In Beijing, there are two notable restaurants, Chuan Jura and Bian Yi Fang. Oh, I know Chuan Jura. They have opened the branch in my city, so I want to try if the flavor is the same. Any kind of foodstuff once diverted to other countries would lose its original flavor because of the different raw materials and water qualities. Why does the meat taste thin, crispy? Ducks bred specially for the dish are slaughtered after 65 days and seasoned before being roasted in a closed and hung oven for 24 hours. While it is hung, the duck is glazed with a layer of maltose syrup. Oh, it's amazing. I saw the chef slicing the meat in front of the table. How many slices do you think a good chef can make? Forty or more? Nearly ninety slices. Health care. Dialogue 1. Hey, Susan, how about your trip to China? Lee, I encountered several shocking things. What are they? One is that all the soup is served after the meal. Chinese people like to have soup at the end or during the meal. We think that the soup is beneficial to digestion. But we always have soup before dinner. It is good for your health. Having soup before dinner can lubricate the intestine and stomach, then promote digestion. Perhaps you are right. We should change our eating order. Dialogue 2 What's wrong, Susan? Hey, Lee, I got cold. That's too bad. Come in and have a seat. I will make you a cup of tea. Thanks, Lee. But Mike is waiting for me at the cinema. I can't leave him hanging. You come down with cold that requires bed rest and fluids. Come in and give him a call. That's not an official date. All right. Here you are. Drink it quickly as it is hot. Oh, what's that? Something like ginger slice? Ginger is a spice and often used for cooking. It's also consumed whole as a Chinese herbal medicine to warm your body. And what's the little red one? It's called Chinese wolfberry, often used for making tea to against human pathogenic bacteria. Chinese Medical Therapy Dialogue 1 Lee, I have something wrong with my shoulder. Sit down. Lower your neck. Let me have a try. Are you kidding? Before I come here, I have learnt something about acupuncture gua sha. Is it hurt? A little bit. Its effects can be similar to that of massage and is used often just for muscle relaxation. Okay, try on me. 
I'd like to be a hamster. How do you work? I got an ox horn made edge, and I'm going to oil your neck skin surface, press down firmly, and then move down with each stroke being about four to six inches long. Oh, it hurts. Let me have a look. It turns red. This causes extra visations of blood from the peripheral capillaries and may result in subcutaneous blemishing which usually takes two to four days to fade. Dialogue 2 Lee, have you suffered insomnia before? No, I sleep tight every night. I just come to ask if you know how to deal with my bad sleep problem. Are you in some trouble recently? Perhaps you think so much about that. No, everything goes smoothly. I feel hot and sweaty in the evening. Feel hot and sweaty. That's something with your weak kidneys. Maybe there is something wrong with your yin and yang. Chinese medicine believes that these two factors should be balanced. How should I do? There are two herbs for this problem. Qian shi, a plant of water lily family, and du zhong, a Chinese native tree's bark. I will write an herbal prescription for you, and you go to the Tong Ren Tong to get the herbals. Okay. To study abroad. Dialogue 1. Mary, have you thought about what you are going to do after graduation? Yes, I think I'm going to go abroad to study more. What would you like to study abroad? I'm eager to learn translation. I hear that the computer science is your major. You are right, but I am not interested in it at all. I'm enthusiastic about English. You mean that you want to change your profession? Yes, I want to study what I'm interested in. So have you prepared TOEFL and GRE test? I'm preparing them these days. Dialogue 2 Sarah, how about your visa? Have you passed it? No, but I don't know why. Tell me what kind of questions the visa officer asked. Just some common questions. The university I applied, the major, the tuition resource, the job I used to work, and the plan after finishing the course. What's your answer? Just tell him the truth. My God, I got the reason why you are denied. Why? You used to be a software engineer, right? And the major you will take is also related. So what? For the VO, they are too sensitive, especially after 9-11 events. You have several years of working experiences on software engineering and are easy to find a job in American after finishing the postgraduate courses. I don't understand. Is that the pivot? Exactly. And by the way, you are still single. If you were married, the result would be the opposite. I'm wiped out. This is the second time. Maybe I should marry someone first. Postgraduate's Fever Dialogue 1 Leo, long time no see. Where have you been? I just quit the job and put my concentration on the imminent postgraduate exam at home. You are so great. Why do you want to be back to the campus? I mean, you can take a postgraduate course after you finish the work. That's not my style. I just can't understand a man like you, at 35, would quit the job in current financial slump. Actually, I have planned to change my job for a long time. Since the job market is so bleak, why can't I go back to campus and fulfill myself? 
and two years later, when the situation thaw, that will be my balmy spring. But how do you support your family? Sarah's job is more stable and just got the pay rise. Dialogue two. Lucy, would you like to go to the job fair with me? Sorry, I have to prepare for my postgraduate exam and civil servant recruitment exam. You have signed up for two exams? Such a crazy girl! I'm forced to. It is said that there will be one million forty thousand applicants competing for thirteen thousand five hundred and sixty-six vacancies in civil servant recruitment exam. A chance of one point three percent. Come on, give me a break. I'm not packing heat. That's truth. Every opportunity is a wash with graduates. So do the two exams you take. Sometime I think it is just the way to elude the reality. Have you ever thought one question? Most of students have the same opinions with you. So what will come to end after you finish the two-year study? I don't know. Just cross the bridge when I come to it. To be a Soho. Dialogue one. Susan, how eased you are! Always have much time to poke around. Aha! We just got a new renovated system in our company. So you don't need to be a regular nine to five. That's admirable. The regular nine to five means boring and unfulfilling to me. I have no time to take care of my kids and do housework. How does your boss be so liberal and open-minded? We usually need to sit there for a whole day to wait if there is something to be translated. Might have half month with nothing to do. That's waste of time. That's true. The internet is so convenient. It's not impossible to work at home. So that's what we talked with our boss, and he finally realized the fact and agreed. How I wish I could have the same work as you do. Dialogue two. Mike, what are you up to? Susan, can we just talk for a sec? No problem. I quit my job yesterday. What, Mike? Why didn't you discuss with me first? You have two kids. How can you rear them without work? I know what I'm doing. I want to start up my own business to run a clown express. A clown express? You need to rent a place and hire several staff members. What about our garage? We can redecorate it and make it like a home office. And you and I, we two do the whole business as the staff and the boss. Okay, I also have a chance to hitch a ride. Honey, I'm at the start of an incredible journey, and you are going to be there every step of the way, cheering me on. Job hunting is too hard. Dialogue one. What happened? You look so desperate. I have sent out fifty copies of resume, but got no reply. Is there anything wrong with your cell phone number? It's impossible. I double checked. What kind of company do you want to work for? World top five hundred. Come on, you need to be clear about something. The job market being piled with millions of graduates, postgraduates, and overseas returnees is not a paradise. Working for top five hundred is my dream. Don't be a chooser. Those HR specialists got backlog of diversified resumes. Who will focus on yours? So what should I do? 
Just accept some meaningless jobs? Every job has its value. Working for a couple of years and then you will have more chances to hop. Dialogue 2 Nancy, what about your job fair? It's bullshit. What happened? I found several companies employing the positions are appropriate to me, and I handed in the resume. Guess what they said? What? You are excellent, but I'm sorry to tell you we just want to employ someone with doctor degree. Why? I also want to know a reason. The position they pinned on the wall is just something like department secretary, HR assistant. You can do it. They don't need to find higher degree or they might pay more. Who knows? I almost freak out. Individual Initiative Dialogue 1 I just came back from Job Counseling Center. Is there something you've got? They just told me not to be blind or pessimistic, changing pressure into motivation, lowering expectations, enhancing work capabilities, and willing to start from the lowest position may allow me to catch more work opportunities. Start from the lowest position? Yes. Start from the bottom and work towards the top. It sounds like to start one's own business. Well, why do we do something by ourselves? You mean to start our own business? Come on, better start our own business two or three years down the road. We know nothing about the society. Maybe you are right. It will be good for us to come in on the ground floor. Dialogue 2 I don't want to go to job fair anymore. It's really boring. What's your plan? I plan to start up my own business. What kind of business? A store specialized for t-shirts. I know a foreigner opening a t-shirt store at Nanluo Guxiang called Plastered 8. The guy designs himself and prints something quite interesting on, like Wei Renmin Fu Wu, Gong Bao Ji Ding, and so on. It's cool, very traditional Chinese style. So I would like to negotiate with him if he can appoint me as his agent. You're really something. Aha, it's time for me to go for my dance. Job Hopping Dialogue 1 Dear, have you finished your resignation? Yes, but I haven't handed it in yet. Why not? I'm afraid my boss will refuse me. He won't, I promise. He also spent the same days. But to tell you the truth, the boss I will work with in my new company is acquainted with the current one. Do you think they have made some communication before I hand in the letter? I have no clue. Perhaps not. They won't say, Hey, your staff will hop to my company. That's silly. God bless me. I'm tired of my current job. Dialogue 2 why do more people hop from job to job instead of sticking with one job all their lives? It means new chance and new challenge. Just as the old Chinese saying goes, man struggles upwards, water flows downwards. That's right. But I'd like to stick with one job. It's 21st century and nobody will stick with one job anymore. We like to change and get a higher payment. Does every new job mean higher payment? Not exactly. When graduates come out for a job after finishing their campus life, 
most of them got the first job correspondingly. Once they have been working for some years and got some experience, they begin job hopping in order to get more pay. Therefore, job hopping becomes a fashion. But I think frequent job hopping is not a good thing to promote one's career. Yes, most of companies do not like to employ those changing jobs time and time again. Wealth Gap Dialogue 1 Susan, how about your trip to Western China? I was deeply shocked by the living quality there. What do you mean? I mean the meagerness of daily commodities and medical care services. Oh, that's true. It was the first time I saw the trench latrine. Kids with naked hips run everywhere. As they saw me, I was immediately surrounded with curious eyes, asking what I held in hands. They even have no idea about cell phone or camera. The gap between the rich and the poor in Western China enlarges rapidly. I don't understand why people living in such backward areas don't find the way to develop. That's because of the education. Graduates are not willing to go there for teaching due to the poor condition and low income, and parents there have no enough money to support their children coming to cities for school. Education level decides everything. That hits the point. The only thing they can do is to keep on back-breaking farm work from sunup to sundown. Dialogue 2 Lee, besides education, what else do you think can be the reason for wealth gap? Child's number in each family. Why? In the past, people, especially rural people, like to have boys. They think that boy is the pillar of a family. Girl is raised for others. So, when a woman give birth to a baby, she was asked to have babies one by one till the family got a boy. Oh, that's weird. We like both boys and girls. You're right. Chinese people hold the total different concept. So the concept causes that every family reared at least five to six children. How could they raise so many under such a poor condition? Yes, children would grow up and get married and get support from their parents. You mean the cost for wedding and dwelling? Exactly. People in the coastal area are much more open-minded in children rearing, so the gap also enlarges. Holiday Economy Dialogue 1 Mike, I want to sign up in travel agency for us. The national holiday is approaching. Oh, how time flies. Which route? I prefer to five-day Chinese scenic spots package tour of the Great Wall, the Summer Palace, Terracotta Warriors, and the Big Goose Pagoda, 1,600 RMB each. That merits. But don't you think there would be so many visitors piling into a hot line? Golden Week holiday is surely the peak season of tourism. Okay, let me think about it. Time is limited. We must make our decision before the deadline. The route is among their promotion. They are about to make a fortune of us. Dialogue 2 Susan, come on, let's go shopping today. Sorry, Sarah, I can't buy more. Oh, when did you go? Why don't call me together? The following day after the holiday began, 
I went to Times Square and bought many items, from dresses to shoes. I almost went into bankruptcy. What a shopaholic you are. You cannot blame me. Sales, promotions, ads, pins everywhere, like shopping spree. Women always act on impulse. It's really difficult to control. I have spent 3000 on shopping within two days. Holiday is really the vampire. You need a chill out for the next few days. Smoke Abatement Dialogue 1 Dad, could you please not smoke at home? Oh, Jerry, I have turned on the extractor fan, and the smoke will disappear soon. I can't bear the smell at all. I'm sorry, Jerry, but what can I do for you? Stopping smoking? Oh, it's too difficult for me. The most important is, smoking is harmful, not only for yourself, but for others. I know, maybe I should have a try. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, madam. Yes? You don't mind if I smoke here, do you? In fact, yes, I do. I'm sorry, but I think I can smoke here because it's not a non-smoking section. Am I right? Well, it's a non-smoking section indeed. Look at the sign on the wall. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see it. Not at all. But there may be a smoking section somewhere else. House Decoration Dialogue 1 I'd like to have my new house decorated. Well, how do you want to decorate it? As you know, I have no idea about the decoration. What should I do? The decoration company can do everything for you. The only thing you need to do is to tell the designer your ideas. Do you know any good decoration companies? No. You can ask your relatives or neighbors. Maybe they can give you some advice. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, madam. How do you want to decorate your house? I want to paint the walls of the living room white. White looks clean and bright. As to the walls of the bedrooms, I want light yellow. Okay, I know. And the floor? What color would you like? I think brown is better. All right. Anything else? I love the open kitchen. And I want a wall lamp in the kitchen. The most important is the windows must be French windows. Okay, I'll call you as soon as I finish the blueprints. Tenants Dialogue 1 I want to find a new place somewhere near my university. Do you know any places? Well, I can ask around to see if anyone's got an apartment available. Thank you so much. It doesn't matter. What price range are you interested in? Somewhere between 800 to 1,000 yuan. Anything you need to have in the place? Nothing special. A living room, a kitchen, and a bedroom. That's enough. Okay, I know. Dialogue 2 Hello. Could I speak to Mrs. Smith, please? This is Mrs. Smith speaking. Who's that? Well, I saw your housing ad on the internet. I'd like to know if it's available now. Yes. Would you mind telling me what the apartment is like? Of course not. It's not big, but well fully equipped. The refrigerator is new, 
and the air conditioner and the washing machine are only five months old. Is there an elevator there? Sure. It operates 24 hours a day. The rent is 200 pounds, right? Are utilities included in the rent? So it is. Can I come and have a look in the afternoon? Certainly. Traffic jams. Dialogue 1. It's 8.45 now. I'm afraid I'll be late again. What's up? Traffic jams, of course. I left home a little earlier than usual in order to avoid the rush hour, but I'm still late. Why don't you try a different route? I think it doesn't work, to be honest. It seems that there are more and more cars on the road every single day. Unfortunately, what you said is right. Maybe we will have no roads to go in the future. It's really a pity for drivers. Dialogue 2 Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I have been waiting for you for an hour. What took you so long? There's a terrible traffic jam, and that's why it took me two hours to get here. Perhaps it would be better if you took public transport. And it would be better for the environment as well. Well, when it's warmer, you can ride your bicycle to work. How is it? That's a good idea. I can take exercise by this way. AIDS and Drugs Dialogue 1 Do you know that Dick got AIDS? I heard it just now. Oh dear. Really? It's so terrible. I think it's because he's been too loose. Many young people like him are blind about careless sex. It is said that in just over 20 years, 20 million people have died of AIDS. Yes, they spread very fast and cases of AIDS are on increase. Something must be done to control it, in my opinion. In fact, the government has been making efforts to stop them from spreading. Dialogue 2 Look, there are so many people over there. What happened? Well, what's the date today? It's June 26th. I know. Today is the International Anti-Drug Day. It's celebrated on June 26th every year. It may be for it, I guess. I heard each year a theme is established. What's the theme of this year? Keep off drugs and take care of our health. Let's go there and have a look. Environmental Protection Dialogue 1 Each of us couldn't survive without water. Water pollution is a big problem in China, especially in industrial cities. Yeah, one in four citizens has no clean water to drink. The situation is becoming more and more terrible. Some chemical factories are contributing to the high pollution levels in the water. I think our government should do something to try to solve the problem. They have done, but we can't just leave it to the government. There are lots of things we can do to protect the environment, too. Right. If every one of us is water-saving, for example, using the washing leftover to flush the toilet, more clean water will be used by others. Dialogue 2 Don't drop batteries into the ash bin. Please give them to me. Why? Do you collect batteries for fun? 
No, don't you know that when decomposed batteries will produce toxics? So we can't toss them. How many of them do you have now? About 50. Well, could you tell me how you do with them? Just leave them at home? Of course not. There is a battery recycling location next to the post office. I'll take them there on weekend. Collecting things. Dialogue 1. Hi, Susan. What are you going to do? I'm going to exchange stamps with some other collectors. Well, I don't know that you have collected stamps. May I look at your stamp album? Okay, here you are. Wow, you have so many beautiful stamps. How long have you collected them? For about one year, and I met lots of new friends while collecting them. So it is. I think it's a good interest, which can make your life more enjoyable. Thank you, and I'm able to learn about the world through collecting stamps. Dialogue 2 Wow, your house is filled up with antiques. You are really a super fan. I think I am. I have spent about half my life collecting all these items. I guess you have spent lots of money on it, right? Yes, but just for fun. I never collect them as a kind of investment. I just have tried my best to collect antiques as many as possible. I have to say it again. You are really a super fan. Financial Crisis Dialogue 1 We are downsizing our workforce and every one of our department is sensitive. Yeah, recently corporate downsizing has been on the rise throughout the world. Have you heard that Citigroup yesterday announced the axing of 17,000 jobs? So many at once. Yes, the cuts account for 5% of Citigroup's workforce. Oh, why so many cuts? The reason is quite simple, in an effort to halt increasing expenses. I think so. Whatever they do is to cut cost. All of these are relative to financial crisis. Sometimes it is difficult to determine how to deal with such things. Please keep calm. Nothing serious. Dialogue 2 The U.S. financial crisis has plunged many Americans into debt. Yes, you are right. Everyone is crazy about his money and the dollar is sinking. Actually, they are crazy about money all the time. Yeah, but now they are more serious about that. How did you know financial crisis in America? I read the magazines of America. In fact, the situation of America is appeared in every country's magazines and newspapers. Poor Americans. Stock Investment Dialogue 1 You've been investing in stock market for such a long time. How do you feel? There are risks in stock market, and you may make money or lose money. Yeah, it is filled with risks all the time. I bought shares of two stocks. One is a steel stock, and the other is a technology stock. What happened then? The steel stock has gone up from 4.5 yuan to 13.5 yuan per share. That was a real great increase. What about the other one? It was down by 2 yuan per share. I lost 10,000 yuan.
Dialogue 2 Hi, Sam. Would you please help me analyze this graphic for a stock? Okay. This graph shows the trend of a stock at Shanghai Stock Exchange from October 2008 to March 2009. How was it? As a whole, there was a major decrease over the period, but after that, the stock price rebound from the middle 10 days of April this year. Thank you very much. I'll keep an eye on it. Good luck. Buying a house on mortgage loan. Dialogue 1. Tony, I have heard you decided to buy a new house. Is that true? Yeah, but look at the rising prices. How can I afford it? Well, I think you can get a loan. Er, too heavy a financial burden and a psychological pressure, you know. Oh, be realistic. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I know, but it's still a hard choice to make. Dialogue 2 I have no chance to come across an ideal house. Oh, why don't you think of buying a second-hand house? I do, but those prices are also unreasonable. Then what do you think is a reasonable price? I think it should be between 3,000 yuan and 7,000 yuan per square meter. I don't think the housing price is going higher and higher. The government will take some actions to control it. It's of no use. Actually, all home buyers feel worried about it. Maybe the macro control measures need time to take effect. There may be a bubble in the real estate market. Yes, it will burst sooner or later. Er. But I fear it will continue to rise at a greater price. Playing Basketball Dialogue 1 Oh, God! I didn't touch anybody! How can I commit a foul? Just calm down. It's just a turnover. Make up your mind, and we can shoot well. Yes, I got it. Come on, Benjamin. Don't let him get into the paint. No problem. I once played a two-meter-high player successfully. Really? You must be. But that game, he dunked over me for 13 times. That's interesting. Let's hurry up. We should beat them in the first half. Oh, look. What happened to Jack? He sat down. He may be injured. Yes. Come on. Call the team doctor. Dialogue 2 So where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Chicago? Really? So are you a Bulls fan? Yes, I am a huge fan. What do you think about Jordan quitting? Well, I know most Bulls fans are disappointed. But as for me, I think it is an honorable decision. What do you mean? I always think it is good to make it to the top, to do one's best. But then, when you've done the best you can, it is good to stop there. Why? And if he plays till next year, do you think he can do better? I mean, can he improve? No, I don't see how he can. Well, that's what I mean. If he continues, he can only do the same thing again, or he can start to go downhill. Now I understand. You think Jordan made the right decision then? Sure. As we say in English, quit while you're ahead. Playing Soccer Dialogue 1 Have you ever seen a professional game? Yes, I like Prime League. Which team do you like best? Newcastle. They are doing a great job this season. They are just marvelous at the moment. I like Manchester United more. But their performance is not very well now. They lost the game to Liverpool last week. 
I know, but I have faith on them. Do they play today? Yes, to Arsenal, 9.30 p.m. Do you want to watch it with me? That would be great to kill the time tonight. Dialogue 2 How's the game? The visiting team scored the first goal. You mean we are behind now? Yes, they have to adjust their defense in the second half. What happened to our forwards? He gave a long shot, but missed the goal. I think they didn't do them justice. Look, their left half plays rough. We will lose the game, I'm afraid. Yes, but 1-0 is not too bad. We still have chance to the championship. Hope they can play well next time. Doing Yoga Dialogue 1 I heard now you are warming up to yoga. How is it? Marvelous. It's fun. But to the best of my knowledge, most enthusiasts are women. Yes, that's true. At the beginning, women go in for it mainly. But as its popularity grows, men are becoming more receptive to the idea. Why did you want to have a go? Because my back was so stiff I couldn't sleep on my stomach anymore. It cannot be an easy thing to start, right? Sure, the first few classes were tough, but I stuck with it. You must have got used to it. I still find the physical side of yoga challenging. Going to karaoke. Dialogue 1. Let's call it a day. I'm too tired to work any longer. You need to relax. I know. Do you have any suggestions? Of course. I think maybe KTV is a good idea. I've never been there before. Would you like to go with me? I'd love to. Are you good at singing? Just English songs. Let's have fun. Sure. Playing chess. Dialogue 1. Say, Joe, do you play bridge? No, I don't play any card games, but I know how to play chess. How about you, George? Well, I happen to be one of the best chess players around. Okay, let's play then. We'll see who the best is. Okay, if you insist. You are a good player. So do you. How long have you played chess? About five years. And you? Two years. Dialogue 2 Do you often play chess in your spare time? Yes, playing chess is my interest. I am keen on playing chess too, and I have many books on it. Really? Maybe you can lend me some. No problem. Would you want to play now? Do you have a chessboard? Right here. That's good. I am warning you that I am not a good player. We'll see. Attending the ball. Dialogue 1. Would you have a dance with me? Sorry, I'm engaged for the social dance. Then may I have the pleasure of the next waltz? All right. How clumsy of me to step on your foot. It's okay. Do you often dance? Not really. I'm a beginner. Don't worry. You dance well as a beginner. Thank you. Dialogue 2 when does the dance begin? At 7 o'clock. Will a lot of people come to the dance? Yes, many students will come. When do most of them come? At 7 o'clock. What do the students drink at the dance? Lemonade and Coca-Cola. Does Mary come to the dance? Yes, she will sing an American song. Online games. 
Dialogue 1 What did you do all day? Nothing. Have you been playing games all day again? No, I haven't. Then how do you explain this? Oops, you got me. How dare you lie to me? I didn't lie to you, Mom. You asked me whether I've been playing games all day, but I haven't. I've only been playing for a little bit. You are just making excuses. I know you must have been playing for a long time. Did you forget how you promised me last time? No, I have not. But I've only been playing for a little while, I promise. I've been studying and doing research for the rest of time. Okay, then where are your researches and where is your homework? Well, I don't have them because I was just memorizing and didn't write anything down. Okay, that's it. I'm tired of your lying. You are not telling me the truth and you know it. From now on, you are not allowed to use computer for a week except for homework, and you have to use it under my vision. I can say goodbye to this week's allowance, too. Internet Love Dialogue 1 Hey, Mary, could you tell me whether you are single now? I have a boyfriend since last month. Really? You didn't tell me. Yeah, you know I'm a little bit shy. How did you know each other? We met on the internet. Later, I found that we have a lot in common, and I guess we are on the same wavelength. Yes, the interests between each other are so important. And is he the style that you like? To tell you the truth, he is not my style what I imagined. Dialogue 2 Charlotte, I think I've fallen in love with you. Oh, but we have never met each other till now. Yes, I know, but I think the appearance is not very important to me. Okay, when did you have a crush on me? Since last time, you comforted me a lot because of my bad emotion. Oh, I remembered that. But I think it is normal to make your friends happy, right? Yes, but it was that event that you impressed me most, and you made me feel so special. But I'm not ready to give you an answer. It doesn't matter. Maybe you need some time.